and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 20th of June. The local media headlines today. Now, do you remember when Boris Johnson, as Prime Minister, promised Cornwall that the Shared Prosperity Fund would match pound for pound the money that we used to get from the European Union? Well, it was Boris Johnson, so of course it wasn't true. But now it turns out that Cornwall Council is actually failing to spend even the money that we did get. Research by the Financial Times has found that Cornwall is the third worst council in the country when it comes to spending its allocation, with only 5% of the total so far. The fund disappears in March 2025, although there'll be a general election before then. Voters go to the polls in Truro on Thursday in what will be the first time that anyone in Cornwall has been asked to provide photo ID. It's for a city council by-election. Traffic on the A30 is moving again after a major remodelling of the Chiverton Cross Junction. A motorcyclist has been killed in an accident at St Austell. The RNLI is warning of unstable sand dunes on Crantock Beach at Newquay. And the Eden Project has switched on its geothermal heating system. It's taken several years and cost £24 million, but now enjoys hot water drawn from three miles underground. The BBC again highlighted the difficulties facing Cornwall's health service when it comes to providing accommodation for key workers. The boss of the Royal Cornwall Hospital is urging anyone with a spare room to get in touch. The Falmouth Packet warned readers in St Austell about an increase in thefts. Pirate FM told us how firefighters rescued a dog which fell down a hole at St Enadoc Golf Club near Wadebridge. And finally Cornwall Life had a story which had nothing to do with witchcraft, but that didn't stop them putting it in the headline. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.